Well, this is interesting. I didn't know it, but uh, my Adobe Master Collection actually gives me access to a computer version of Premiere uh, Rush. And this is basically an app that I use on uh, my, my cell phone and my tablet to just make quick, easy uh, to make videos when I record and I just want to bang something out quick instead of going into the um, heavy area of Premiere and level up. So I just installed it on my computer and here it is. So let's see, maybe it'll bring in my past projects and stuff. Um, they start with uh, a project name, so I'm gonna, let's see, next, so you name it, you select media, of course, in this area, and that's it, okay, <laughs> and tutorial. So I'm wondering if they would actually bring in um, the files that I've already worked on and actually sync. I'm seeing sync with Creative Cloud down here. Um, absolutely, let's do it and copy media. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if they got the Rush soundtracks, which is neat. It would be great if they could give more of those, because um, these are just the beginning of some good stock audio that you can actually use. Dropbox, Cloud, Music Pictures, okay, Google Drive, perhaps, Downloads, Documents. So it doesn't look like it's syncing exactly yet. I'm going to open up my um, version on my phone here and see if Premiere Rush CC uh, would actually... Um, Maybe you would uh, activate it. Rush soundtrack, star. Okay, so, um, yeah, because I've got a whole bunch. Missing project, connect to your Wi-Fi. Okay, so maybe um, that could be it. So I'm trying again here, and I'm going to see if, 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 if it actually syncs up. Because that's, that's the real winner. For some reason, it's not. So I'm not sure if I start here. Let's just do a test and see what it looks like. Test Rush Project. All right, and um, yeah, so it's syncing my tablet, my phone. So I'm just gonna go boom, and I'm gonna create. Here it is, and select media to create a new project. So sample media. I guess it wants me to choose this. So if I chose these and just went, okay, fine. We'll use all these things. We'll bring them all in. We're gonna go create. Let's see what the editing environment is like for the uh, computer version. I'm on a Mac, by the way. It's preparing, it's taking a bit. I'm on a 27 inch iMac. Uh, and it's pretty powerful with lots of RAM. And it's taking a bit. Hmm, I'm wondering why it's um, taking so long to prepare the media. Oh, there we go, pop, figured it out. Always when things run the first time, maybe that's it. And it's just trying to figure things out. I'd love to see my other projects come in here and let's just press spacebar and see. Yeah, it's pretty beautiful. I press spacebar to stop it. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's, it's rendering in a lower resolution sort of thing. That's good. Oh, beautiful. Let's go there, everybody. This was obviously shot with some good good camera uh, okay so that's pretty good and it's the same thing you can just drag you can apply things if I wanted to I guess to add or duplicate I could cut I could I could um, cut the clips I could cut the audio I could cut certain things out really quick and I could change the length of things if I wanted to um, or undo so if I wanted to add like assets if I wanted to create say a title Let's see if it gives me the stock stuff that was pretty neat in the mobile version. So I click the stock, it's kind of thinking. Probably a pretty lightweight uh, program. But the real kicker is going to be when it actually syncs. So I guess I'm going to restart the computer and give that a go to see if it brings in next time that I bring things in. Uh, they do, so they have all of these things. So let's just go. Uh, I loved this trip. All right, that, that's neat, and uh, let's see, boom. Yeah, it's as simple as that, and you can add, I guess, the transitions that you just, yeah, and it just immediately applies it. Easy sneezy, and you can um, do other things. Let's see if I wanted to, oh yeah, you can just keep on changing. I could actually, maybe I could actually just click this and change the actual style. Yeah, here it is. Main title. And yeah, little things like that. You could actually just check it all. It's a lot faster than 
um, on the sub. Oh, credits here. Oh, that's neat. Modern title. Yeah, they got a lot of really neat tech stuff here. Um, let's see, grab the viewer. Let's see what this is all about. So if you want it, oh yeah, and you can just say, subscribe to my video. I guess you could make YouTube videos and customize that or even follow us on your channel, add, add a graphic, say you had a logo to bring in. You could also bring in a logo with the media file right here. This voiceover is really good. And this is what you're gonna to wanna to start doing, do some Facebook ads and lay things down. So if I started, if I just wanted to quickly voiceover, click that. And let's see how she goes. Oh, there it is down there. So I added a voiceover track and I could just go. I, I really had an amazing time on this trip. Me and my girlfriend just had a beautiful time. We ended up getting married and going on such adventures with cost-effective trips. I totally recommend this. My family that visited came out and visited also. Please make sure to visit or follow our channel on YouTube, of course. But again, this is this is happiness. This is what we look like so happy. So let's see. Let's see what this does now. I really had an amazing time on this trip. Me and my girlfriend had a beautiful time. We ended up getting married and going on such an adventure. It sounds like it needs to be higher. And the great thing about this, you can actually turn up the volume a bit the um on the audio. I really had an amazing time on this trip. Of course we wouldn't want to be talking over each other. Um but uh it would it's it's like that and they got they got a, a lot of really basic functions here to quickly bang things out and now if I wanted to go back and I wanted to share it and I could just quickly let's see what they're um, oh you can go quick to YouTube you could connect to Facebook so I guess you just have to sign in Instagram and just send these clips immediately to there so once this is uh, synced and rendered uh, I think this is it and I guess the destination I wonder what um, aspect ratio it would send it to so Let's see the advanced settings. Oh, you can actually control, you can make it HD or even 4K frame rate. Um, yeah, you can choose that or whatever it's shot at. So it syncs, stereo, high quality, medium or low uh, compression wise. So this is a pretty um, easy way to create videos um, if you have the master collection and, and are syncing and working in coordination with being mobile with your cell phone and tablet. And uh, other than that, you can just go back to its main area and we're gonna find it now. Oh, it did, so that's where it was, the house. The house was where all my stuff, I did videos, various videos for the Sydney Sportsman, some trips with friends and family around Sobble Beach. Um, I did a video the other day for my company um, and I just do various things and testing. So this just brought in all of my mobile and this was just yesterday. Let's see how fast if I load up uh, this uh, Rush project. Oh, let's see. So it didn't bring it in yet. Maybe it's uploading still. Um, so I'm gonna have to get back to you, but if you experience this also, that is really interesting. So how do you resync it? It obviously sees the thumbnail. It's probably a video thing and they're gonna have to sync because right now I guess I have a lot of videos on this side that are going up. So I see that as an issue right off the hop that needs to be addressed. I'll have to look into that. Um, but maybe I could actually re-upload, turn sync off, rename, delete, nope. Um, and it's not giving me the option to pull it in again. I wonder if these other ones, since they're older, are there. Let's try this one, Sydney Sportsman. Archery, nope, none of them are there yet. Uh, we just loaded this program, so I'm gonna give it a benefit of the doubt. I like that at least it's working here so far. Um, and I guess we'll see, so maybe I'll do another follow-up video. If you have any questions in regards to that, uh, just let me know and I'll and I'll see what I can find out about quick, um, quickly pushing the uh, video uh, to the computer quicker and to solve that. I'm gonna wait an hour to see if these actually are just loading in from um, the oldest to new, and that's what I'm hoping for. Anyway, thank you very much uh, for watching this video. If you have any questions, just uh, reply in the comments below, and I'll do my best.